What's up YouTube? I'm going to be making a video on scare claws. There's going to be a budget and expensive. We're going to start off with the budget first and then the expensive. If you want to skip through the video, there's going to be timestamps. And also the deck is going to be in the description down below. So if you just want to check that out, feel free to check that out. Anyways, let's just jump right in. Scare Claws is a unique deck that came out in the newest set that switches your opponent's monsters to defense position. And I try to play around the effect where they can also special summon from their hand. So in the free to play version, we're running a small beast engine along with an engine that utilizes the level threes that we have on the field. So our first one is Blade Rabbit. It's a normal card, a really strange old card, but its effect actually works really well with the deck. When this card is changed from attack position to face up defense, destroy one monster on your opponent's side of the field. Now, like it's like how you normal summon him, he's an attack, you gotta wait a turn to switch him to defense. This deck literally just switches it to defense automatically, so it's gonna trigger like instantly, at least in theory. The next card we have is actually a really good B support card. It's called Malefi Caddy. This card is really, really cute, and it can just be special summoned from your hand during the end phase. And then when your opponent like does something, when they normal summon or special summon a monster or attack this card, you can just bounce it back to your hand and you can add any beast from your deck to your hand. Very powerful card to only be a normal rare. And we run one Malefi Puppy. Look at this cute little thing. Uh, essentially the same effect as Cat, except this one lets you special summon a beast from your deck that's level two or lower. Now, the only targets we really have in the deck is Caddy and Rabbit. Essentially, it's just another Caddy. The next card is Ash Blossom. It's in here because it's a bundle card. Yeah, it's an ultra rare, but if you're playing budget and you want to play like a bunch of fun decks and like budget, you should buy the bundle cards because it gives you a bunch of cards already. And you get powerful cards like Ash Blossom, which a lot of people run in every single deck that they have. I'm not kidding when I say that. It's one of the most popular cards in the entire game. Next up, we have Psychic Tracker. This is a level three monster. It's a psychic. It's important because its effect is when it's in your hand, if you control a level three monster other than this card, you can just special summon this card from your hand. It also has another effect where if it's used for a synchro summon, your monster that you synchro summon gets more attack. But mainly we're using it to get more bodies on the board. And now we're jumping into the scare claws. I'm going to go over them very quickly because they all have like very similar effects. And the only important part of their effect is the last part. This guy Astra is really important because he allows your like boss link that you bring out to like attack multiple times during the battle phase, which is really good. The next one is Baloney. This hound is actually pretty cool because it allows your boss link to do pierce damage. Now pierce isn't good if the opponent's monster is in attack, but this deck doesn't really care about them being in attack because they're all switched to defense anyways, unless they're running a link deck. Finally, we have Acro. This little goblin looking dude is kind of cool because it just makes your Scareclaw monster get more attack, but it's a small boost. But if you think about it, if you have five monsters in defense and your opponent has five, that's literally like what, like 3000 bonus attack. It can get kind of big. So it's, it's not the best effect, but it is there and it does help. Finally, we have the most important Scareclaw. That's why this guy's an ultra rare, Rainheart. This guy has the same special summon effect as the other ones, except this time when he special summon or normal summon, you can add a Scareclaw spell or trap. And then if you control three or more defense position monsters, you can draw a card. <laughs> That's a good effect on its own. Um, the spell and traps you can search are pretty good. I think um, the best one is the field spell, which I'll get into in a bit. But no, this guy's the most important one. We're only running one in the ultra variant because, dude, he's an ultra rare. And if you want to run more, it's going to be a little more expensive. So feel free to check out the expensive version right after this one. Next up, we got Raigeki. You get it from the first mission in solo play. I do recommend it. Monster Reborn, solo play, free card. It's a second mission. Reinforcing the army is the fourth mission in solo mode. I do recommend it too. Your only search for reinforcement in the army, by the way, is Reinhardt. We, we want to see this guy. This guy is the best monster in the entire deck. It like hands down. So if you have multiple, put in multiple, dude. If you don't know what cards to take out, just take out Caddies uh, or Puppy um, or even Blade Rabbit or even uh, Psychic Tracker. These cards are just like there to extend your plays. But honestly, if you have more Reinhardt, run more. Next up, we got Lightning Storm. Comes in the bundle. Now we got three Scareclaw Arrival. This is pretty much like Monster Reborn, only for Scareclaws. You can like special summon it back from the graveyard. The only thing is you can't special summon back your Lynx because Lynx can't be special summoned in defense. So it's only useful for your like effect monsters, the one in your main deck. Also has a graveyard effect where you can banish it from your graveyard and then your Scareclaw Link, if it would be destroyed by battle or card effect, nothing happens. So it's good protection. 
This is the field spell I was talking about. And actually, I lied. It's not even a Scareclaw card. You can't even add it to your hand. But it's so powerful because as soon as you activate it, add a Scareclaw from your deck to your hand. And you know which one you're going to add, right? The best one. Obviously, you're going to add Reinhardt. Also, it has another effect where it's like, it like lowers the attack and defense of an opponent's monster. And then if there's three or more defense position monsters on a field, yours or your opponent's, you can just target one card on the field and destroy it. This card's very important. We're only running one because it's an ultra rare. Next up, Forbidden Droplets. This is a bundle card. I do recommend it. It's just a powerful like removal card. It just helps you out a lot. And this one is interesting. It's a super rare Scareclaw card. It has the effect it's like you can like make your monsters attack higher or if your opponent targets your Scareclaw monster, you can negate that effect. It like only if they target it though. So it's good to have like at least one copy um, just to have that option in your deck. Next up, we have an interesting tech card. This card is called Tragedy. I would only run it in this deck. I think outside of this deck, this card is trash. Trust me when I say that. When a face-up attack position monster your opponent controls is changed to face-up defense, destroy all defense position monsters your opponent controls. Now, like I said before, that's not really good on its own, but when you combine it with the boss link, which just switches all opponent's monsters to defense, it just means you can just blow up your opponent's board whenever they summon a monster or whenever you want. Uh, that's kind of insanely powerful. Next up, we have Lost Wind. Now, I was thinking of cards to fill, and Lost Wind is just like a perfect like counter trap because not only can it like lower the opponent's monster's attack, you can use it during damage calc, which means that you can like use it as like a battle trick, but you can also negate their monster's effect. The only thing is it only works against special summon monsters. Also, this card comes back from the graveyard if they special summon something from the extra deck. If you're thinking of removing some spell traps from the deck, this is probably one of the ones I would remove along with tragedy, but it's it's still a good card. Another good card, Infinite Impermanence, comes in the bundle deal. Same with Solemn Judgment. Negates anything, but you pay half your life points, so it's it's a big cost, but you can like stop your opponent from doing anything. Comes in the bundle deal. And finally, Scare Claw Splash. A weird name. Uh it's cool because it's kind of like a negate. If this card is face up and you control uh your boss link or even the link one. You can send this card to the graveyard and negate something your opponent does. I think that's a genuinely very good effect. The only catch is you have to activate it early. So as soon as you set it and your opponent draws for the draw phase, try to activate this if you can. That way, if they do anything, you can negate it. Because if your opponent activates something and this card's still set and you try to flip it up, it's not going to it's not gonna negate. Now the extra deck. The extra deck is jank. I'm not going to lie. Because the extra deck's expensive. It, it, like Genuinely, it's expensive. First of all, your most important <laughs> link monster, the link one, because it gets you your like your field spell, which gets you any of your monsters, is an ultra rare. So we're only running one. It's the most important one. And then also the boss monster, who is literally the deck is based around. We only have one because it's a budget, man. He's an ultra rare. If you have multiple, feel free to put in multiple. I highly recommend multiple. This dude, he's the most important one in the deck. Besides that, I try to fill it up with normal and rares because, dude, if you're going to play the budget version, I'm going to try to get you the best budget cards in the extra deck you can run. We have Genosaurus. It's okay. Destroys a monster, inflicts a thousand damage. Giga Brilliant. It just boosts your monster's attack by 300. It's okay. This guy is a little more interesting because a majority of the cards in the main deck are Earth. So this guy allows you to target a set card in your opponent's field and he just can't activate it. So that's pretty good on its own. Fortune Tune is like pretty much invincible. It like can't be targeted or destroyed by battle or card effect. You like detach one. Also during your standby phase, you gain like 500 life points. I think it's genuinely a good card in this deck. Mecha Equipped Agonir. It's not super good in this deck specifically because it only works if your monster is in face-up attack and this deck kind of switches everything to defense but if you're not able to bring out your boss link or maybe it died this card's just more protection it just literally if it's in attack position your opponent tries to destroy it switches itself to defense can be destroyed by battle or card effect this card super quantum mech beast removes the spell or trap your opponent control so it can like destroy something it's pretty powerful and then virtual world shell jaja is just more protection for your boss link pretty much detach one target one face up monster you control cannot be destroyed by battle until the end of your opponent's turn so that does kind of come in clutch then we move into the link uh scareclaw very important if you have multiple i would run at least like two just because it's pretty good and next we got Firefighting Derma Doll. This guy can be easily made because he just requires two beasts. All your monsters gain like 100 attack for each beast on the field. 
And then you can target one spell or trap on your opponent's side of the field and on yours, destroy both of them. And then when this card destroys a monster by battle, you can just target a monster in your graveyard that's a beast, beast warrior, or whatever, and add it back to your hand. Uh, good effect. I, I genuinely like that effect. That's why we run two. Triple burst, it does pierce. That's why we run one, just as an option. Power code talker can like boost itself attack and it can also negate a monster effect on the field we run one as an option like if you ever need it this card's cool tri brigade rugal the silver sheller it's easy to make just like the firefighting dude um this one during your opponent's turn you can just special summon a beast from your graveyard and i, I mean that's just an amazing effect on its own also if it gets sent to the graveyard you can make all your opponent's monsters lose attack equal to the monster types you control and then finally, the boss, the, the most important card in the entire deck, because without this card, the deck does not work at all. Three effect monsters are summoned, so it's not hard, must be link summoned. All face up monsters on the field do change a defense. That means if you summon, instantly switch defense. If your opponent summons, instantly switch a defense. Now, link monsters don't have defense, so they can't be switched to defense. So this doesn't really work against a deck that link summons a lot, but against a synchro, XYZ, fusion, this hits all of them and then it also has an additional effect where you can just special summon a scarecloth in your graveyard and then add a scarecloth in your deck uh just cool card very cool card that's a budget version let's go into the expensive all right the expensive version is just running a lot more good cards and we're running a punk sub engine yes punks i, I think they work really well in this deck now max c at three just because i mean it's one of the best cards in the game Ash Blossom at 3, just because it's one of the best cards in the game. I mean, it can negate Maxi, which is one of the best cards, so come on. We're still running 3 Psychic Tracker, just because I want to be able to extend the plays. I think Psychic Tracker is going to be genuinely good, but if there's any one card you want to cut out of this deck, I would definitely cut out Psychic Tracker if you can. That That's the number one card I would probably cut out. Next up, we got Noah Punk Z Amin. This card is very, very good. Every turn, you can pay 600 life points and add a punk card from your deck to your hand. And then it has an additional effect where it's sent to the graveyard, you can boost an attack. It kind of comes up, but it's not super important. The main the main part is that you just get an add every single turn. Then we run the scare claws, all three of them. Um, we're running maxed out. I mean, you could cut them down to two each if you really wanted. But I think just running three is so important just because they're so good. And then we're running three Reinhardt, just because he is literally the best monster in the deck. Three Noah Punk Foxy Tomb. This card has the effect where it's like you contribute a punk, special summon it, but has an even better effect where it's like you can send this card and another card in your hand to the graveyard and then special summon the level three directly from your deck. So it gets you a monster on your board. The level three can then pay 600 to add you either Foxy Tomb or the next card, Ogre Dance, from your deck to your hand. Ogre Dance is not as good as Foxy Tune, sadly. It's still good though. Its effect is you can send it from your hand to the graveyard and add the level 3 punk from your deck to your hand. So it's another way to get to it. You're not special summoning it, but you are adding it. Also, you can just tribute the level 3 dude and then just special summon uh, Ogre Dance, the level 8. So, I mean, there is options there if you want to like go for a beatdown strategy. And we're running only 2 Nibiru. We're running 2 Nibiru just because Maxi allows us to draw into our deck. And let's say our opponent's playing like, um, I don't know, some Exodia spam deck where they just keep special summoning and drawing. Maxi is good because it can let you draw cards that are answers. An answer is Ash Blossom. Another answer is Nibiru. So we're running Nibiru just because it's a potential answer in a case we need it. Also, we have one Harpy's Feather Duster, one Reinforcement of the Army, and two Lightning Storm. Lightning Storm is kind of like Feather Duster, it's a, it's a little weaker because you have to control no face of cards, so it's better like turn one or a turn where you don't really have anything established or you have only set cards on your side of the field. Only two Scareclaw Arrival, just because we do want that effect where when it's in a graveyard we can protect ourselves, and the Monster Reborn effect's not bad either. Only one Field Spell. I only own one. If you own multiple, run at least two? Maybe two or... I don't, it, it's a good it's good it, it literally searches you a scareclaw and the scareclaw you're going to want to search is reinhardt but i you at least need one so i'm running at least one because i mean the deck functions and it works two is like it works even better but i, I just like one personally next we got two scareclaw straddle just because if our opponent tries to target our boss link with the card effect this card can negate it also it's searchable and then we can boost our monster's attack if we need to and finally 
Scareclaw Scalash, which can like negate an effect our opponent has. I think it's pretty useful just to have a searchable negate. The extra deck, Naturia Barkeon. This is a Synchro. Earth Tuner, Earth Monster. The cool thing about uh, the punks is they're, they're tuners. I, I don't know why, but they're tuners. So you can make Barkeon. Barkeon's effect is banish two cards from your graveyard, negate a trap card your opponent activates, and destroy it. Uh, very good. Next up, we got Babuska. Babuska switches all monsters to defense position when it's in defense position. So it kind of helps with the theme of the deck where everything's in defense. And then finally, we got for the last XYZ, Star Liege Photon Blast Dragon. It has an interesting photon effect, but the real reason we run it is for this effect. While this XYZ monster is on the field, your opponent cannot target monsters you control with 2,000 or more attack with card effects. Also, they cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. AKA, you make this rank 4 while you have your boss link. Your boss link's not going to be able to be targeted by uh, card effects. So, I mean, you're going to be kind of being chilling. Next up, we got two of the link 1. Just because, I mean, it's really important. If it gets Ash Blossomed, it gets Infinite Impermed. If its effect gets like negated in any way, you have a backup copy. So, you can easily search out your field spell. We have Azusa, the Earth Charmer. Uh, we run a bunch of earth in this deck, like the majority of the deck is earth, and this card just like literally lets you grab an earth from your opponent's graveyard, which might not always come up, but it's an option, and it's good to have options in your extra deck. Next up we got Tri Brigade Ferret of Benham Blossom. This card lets you special summon a beast from your hand, and then if it's sent to the graveyard you can draw one card and then place one card from your hand in the bottom of the deck. It's there as another option if you need to extend your plays, if you need to go into something like really quick, this allows you to extend your plays. We have Derek the Dark Charmer, just because we do run darks in this deck. The, the best monster in the entire deck is Reinhardt and he's a dark and this card is important because uh dark cards are very prevalent in Yu-Gi-Oh some of the top decks are darks and if you are familiar with Destiny Hero Phoenix Enforcer which is a dark also and a very powerful hero card this card can kind of just steal that card from your opponent's graveyard and take control of it so I think this is a very good card to have in the deck as an option another good card is Nightmare Unicorn this is just removal discard a card shuffle one card on the field into the deck uh, just, I mean, removal, powerful, easy to access. It's in your extra deck. Whenever you need that as an option, you can just go into it. Uh, Tri Brigade Rugal the Silver Sheller is also an option. It special summons a monster from your graveyard. We only run two of the boss link just because I feel like if one of them dies, you're going to make your second one and you're winning the game by then. You're either winning or losing and hopefully you're winning with this list. Next up, we got Borload Dragon boss link. Steals your opponent's monsters, can lower attack and defense. Very good. Or Sword Dragon, OTK Machine. It can attack twice, essentially. A uh, very good card. You just go for game. Another OTK Machine card is Access Code Talker. This card is you can banish links from your graveyard, destroy cards your opponent controls. Also, it like gains attack, and then your opponent cannot activate cards in response to its effects. It, it's good. It's a good effect. But that's it for the deck list. Um, I'll be posting some gameplay next time, but as for now, I hope you enjoyed, maybe you learned something new, and I hope you had fun. I'll catch you next time, my name's Kushy Kush, and thanks for watching. See ya! Hey, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe. You can check out all the new content I'm going to be making, but besides that, hope you have a great day. See ya! Yeah. <laughs>